All right, guys, I just want to do a quick video primarily for myself so I can remember how to do this. Um, I just did a, a couple of videos in the shop on a dual voltage motor trying to put it all together, but the sound is just garbage. Um, and I'm always having issues with sound. Like, listen to this. All right, guys, let's do the low voltage connection first. Uh, so I have line one to T1, line two to T2, line three to T3. I'm going to juice this up. So you can hear it's just garbage. There's just all that static in the background. So after a quick little Google search there on how to uh, fix it up, um, I found uh, two programs. So the first one is this guy right here. Um, what was this called? Any video converter free. Um, and so obviously there's a paid version, but there's a free version as well. Um, and so you basically add your video and so what I need to do is I need to break this down into just an audio file so we were listening to this guy right here so I'm gonna open this up and then I'm gonna convert it to a WAV file and then it'll be an uncompressed audio file that I can play around with so I'm gonna hit convert now and it asked me to uh, purchase the full version and like that it's done and if we listen to this guy right now all right guys let's do the low voltage connection first uh, so i have line one to t1 okay so that's my audio file there and it was like instantly converted there so now we're going to drop that down i'm going to close this up and drop this down so i'll put a link for this guy below and any video converter and it's the free version uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to uh, click on this guy on my start menu and bring up uh, Audacity. Now Audacity is a really cool program. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. You can remove mar watermarks, all kinds of things. Um, but I just want to open up that file that we were just working on. So that guy was this one, 0426. So we're going to open this up. What's going on? Oh, that's because I'm opening up the, the video. It doesn't allow me to open up the video. Uh, give me two seconds. Let me move that audio over there. So it saved it right here. So let me um, cut this guy out, move it over into the place where I have all my videos here. There we go. Okay, so now I can go back into Audacity and now I'm just gonna open up that audio file. So let's go down, and there should be two audio files there, and we'll open this guy up. Okay, uh, we'll make a copy before editing. There we go, and there's the, all the audio from that video now. So now what we need to do is, oh, well, what I need to do is I need to get rid of that crap that's in the background there, that noise. So in the beginning, it's best, um, from videos that I've watched, it's best to run the video for a little bit and then you'll get a nice image right here of the noise and you can sample that. Right now it's gonna be pretty hard for me to grab that noise. So I'm thinking right there is probably some noise right there. Let's listen to that. Okay, so that's definitely just garbage there, right? So I'm gonna grab that portion right there uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Effect, and then I'm going to go down to Noise Reduction, and it's going to look at that sample within the whole audio file. It's going to get a noise profile. Once it has that noise profile, then I can highlight the entire audio file, and then I go back to Effect, and right here, repeat noise reduction and what it's going to do is it's going to take that sample and then get rid of all that noise on the entire audio file so we'll hit right click there it's applying the noise reduction you'll see this reduces right away when it's done there we go beautiful okay so let's start this guy off again all right guys let's do the low voltage connection first uh so i have line one to t1 so it's not bad. Let's see uh, what noise is here. Okay, so there's still a little bit of noise there, right? So, and what about right here? Yeah, for sure. So there's still a little bit of noise. So let's do it one more time. Let's sample 
uh, let's sample this noise right here. Let's see if I can grab. See what I mean? Like if you had a larger area that you could grab the noise, like what about right here? Okay, so we'll grab that as an image again. We'll go effect, noise reduction, get that noise profile, and then again, highlight the entire thing. Okay, and then go effect, repeat the noise reduction, and hopefully this will go down even more. There we go. Okay, and look at that, it's like mint right there. Okay, so now let me play this. All right, guys, let's do the low voltage connection first. Uh, so I what a difference. That's crazy. So right here, remember all that noise and all that garbage that was in the background there? Just by applying that filter twice there, like let's go here, that's where most of the noise was. Okay, then we need a jumper between T3 and T9. Excellent. Okay, so that's just me fooling around with conductors and stuff like that, moving around. But most of it, uh, most of that noise is gone. There's still that tinny noise to uh, my voice, which bugs me. But right here, there should be very minimal background noise. There we go. Okay, so ready to rock. Now let's juice this up. Right on. So they got rid of the entire fan noise that was behind. I could maybe do it one more time uh, and filter out all those nuisance uh, little pops and stuff that are happening as I grab conductors and move them around. But now I've got a nice uh, audio and now I'm going to go to file and go to uh, export, export the audio. Okay. And then what it's going to do is it's going to overwrite that file that I have there. Beautiful. And now what I can do is I can go into my resolve program. Um, I can drop in the previous video. I can eliminate the audio and then I can drop in this audio feed and it's identical to the video. And then I'll have a nice clean audio that I can track with the actual video of me wiring up that motor. All right, guys, that'll be it. It's basically just a video to remind myself how I did this. Uh, but it's pretty cool. It seems to have eliminated a lot of the noise in the background. Uh, check out the next video on dual voltage motors and hopefully it sounds all right. Thanks guys. See you in the next video.